Life at times can feel like a long, unrelenting uphill climb. You may be working tirelessly toward a goal, whether it's personal, professional, or spiritual, only to find yourself feeling internally exhausted and drained. If you are a chosen one you will listen to this God's instruction until the end, the finish line seems distant, and with every step forward, you might feel as though the weight of the world is pulling you two steps back. If you resonate with this, know that you are not alone. This message is for you, the one who feels like their dream or purpose is always just out of reach. In moments like these, when you're feeling like the burden is too heavy to carry, it's important to remember that God sees you. He knows the desires of your heart, your struggles, and your aspirations. No matter your age, whether you're 40, 50, or 70, it's never too late for divine intervention. The universe, under God's guidance, is always at work, aligning events and circumstances to bring you closer to your purpose. Even when you can't see it, God is moving behind the scenes. Moreover, for those who bear the A.M. mark on their palm, there is a deeper layer of significance. You may not realize it yet, but this symbol, often overlooked, points to something profound within you, strength, resilience, and spiritual evolution. It is a reminder that you are not ordinary, you are a chosen, evolved being who is capable of great things. Trust in the divine, for God will guide your steps and use the universe to help you achieve what you've set your heart on. This journey, although difficult, is shaping you into the strong, courageous individual you are destined to become. It's natural to feel weary on the path to your goals, especially when the road is long and obstacles seem never-ending. Many of us are programmed to believe that if something is meant to be, it should come easily. However, that's not always how life works. The truth is, the things worth having, the dreams that burn brightest in our hearts, often come with the greatest challenges. But just because the path is hard doesn't mean it's the wrong one. In fact, the more difficult the journey, the more valuable the destination. Sometimes, we feel drained because we are fighting battles not just in the physical realm, but in the spiritual one as well. The enemy works hardest when you're closest to your breakthrough, trying to discourage you from reaching your God-given potential. Yet, even in your tiredness, you are not abandoned. Scripture tells us in Isaiah 40 verse 31, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. God's promise is clear, when you trust in Him, He will restore your energy and help you rise above your struggles. It's easy to look at your age and feel as though time is slipping away, that your opportunity for success or fulfillment has passed. But this is not how God operates. In fact, the Bible is full of stories where God used individuals who were well into their older years to accomplish great things. Take Abraham, for instance, who was 75 when God called him to leave his home and travel to a land that God would show him, Genesis 12 verse 4. Or Moses, who was 80 when God sent him to free the Israelites from Egypt, Exodus 7 verse 7. The lesson is clear, age is not a barrier in God's plan. If you are 40, 50, 70, or even older, know that God is not done with you yet. He doesn't look at your age and see limitations, he looks at your heart and sees possibilities. As long as you are alive, you are a vessel for his divine purpose. Your life, no matter where you are on the timeline, can be used to accomplish something magnificent. God's timing is perfect, even if it doesn't align with our expectations. He may be preparing you for something that requires the wisdom and experience you've gained over the years. Or perhaps, he is still molding and shaping you into the person who is capable of carrying out the vision he's placed in your heart. Trust that his timing is not delayed, it's deliberate. For those who bear the A.M. mark on their palm, this journey takes on even more significance. In ancient spiritual traditions, this mark has been associated with heightened intuition, inner strength, and divine favor. It is believed that those with this mark are destined for a higher purpose, and that they possess a unique spiritual energy that sets them apart from others. This mark, whether you've thought much about it or not, is a reminder of who you are and what you are capable of. It is a sign that you are not alone in this journey, God has placed His hand on your life, and He has equipped you with the strength and resilience you need to fulfill your purpose. You may feel drained right now, but know that within you is a reservoir of strength that runs deep. This mark is not just a physical feature, it's a spiritual signpost pointing to your destiny. The Bible speaks about how God chooses certain individuals for His purposes. In Ephesians 2 verse 10, we read, For we are God's handiwork, 
created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Those with the AM mark on their palm are a reflection of this truth. You have been chosen, and God has prepared you for something extraordinary. The challenges you face now are not obstacles meant to stop you, they are stepping stones designed to strengthen you and bring you closer to the fulfillment of God's plan. When you're in the middle of the struggle, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. You may question whether you're on the right path or if your efforts will ever bear fruit. In these moments, it's important to remember that God sees the end from the beginning. He knows exactly what He is doing even when it doesn't make sense to us. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 reminds us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Trusting in God means surrendering your timeline, your expectations, and your need for control. It means believing that even when things seem impossible, God is still at work, aligning the universe in ways you can't yet see. It's also important to remember that the process of waiting, working, and enduring hardship is often where God does His greatest work in our lives. It is in these moments that our faith is tested and strengthened. Just as gold is refined in the fire, so too are we refined through the challenges we face. The difficulties you are experiencing are not meant to break you, they are meant to prepare you for the greatness that lies ahead. As you continue on this journey, remember that you are not defined by your exhaustion or your setbacks. You are defined by the God who has called you, who has placed His mark on your life, and who is using every moment, both the good and the difficult, to shape you into the person He created you to be. You are stronger than you think, and you are more capable than you realize. The I am the mark on your palm is not just a symbol, it's a reminder of the divine strength within you. Trust in God's process, believe in His timing, and know that the universe is working in your favor. Whatever your age, whatever your circumstances, you are destined for something great. Trust in the divine, and everything will be all right. Throughout history, humans have sought to understand their place in the world and the divine calling upon their lives. Palmistry, the ancient practice of interpreting the lines on a person's hand, has often been used as a means to unlock deeper spiritual truths. Among the many lines and symbols found on the hand, one of the most intriguing and mysterious is the AM mark on the palm. Some believe that this mark holds a special significance, especially for those who are chosen by God for a higher purpose. In this text, we will delve into the significance of the I.M. mark on the palm, explore its biblical connections, and argue that only the chosen ones will truly heed the divine instructions that come with it. In palmistry, the A.M. mark on the palm is often regarded as a symbol of intuition, leadership, and spiritual destiny. People with this mark are believed to have a heightened sense of awareness, an ability to see beyond the surface, and a strong connection to their higher calling. While palmistry is not typically associated with mainstream Christian beliefs, the existence of the I.M. mark can be seen as a reflection of the spiritual truths found in the Bible. In many ways, the I.M. mark represents more than just a symbol of personal traits, it serves as a divine imprint. This idea stems from the belief that God has created each person with a unique purpose and calling, which can sometimes be revealed through physical signs. The Bible repeatedly speaks of God choosing certain individuals for special roles, often marked by signs, visions, or even physical manifestations. The Bible is filled with stories of individuals who were chosen by God for a special mission. These people often face challenges, doubts, and opposition, but their faith in God's calling set them apart. One of the clearest examples of this is the story of Moses. Chosen by God to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, Moses initially doubted his ability to fulfill such a monumental task. Yet, God provided signs, through the burning bush, miraculous wonders, and even a physical manifestation of his power, that affirmed Moses' calling. Similarly, the prophet Jeremiah was chosen by God before he was even born. In Jeremiah 1 verse 5, God tells him, before I formed you in the womb I knew you, before you were born I set you apart, I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. This divine selection echoes the idea of being marked by God for a higher purpose. Just as the A.M. mark may symbolize those chosen for a special mission, the stories of biblical prophets illustrate how God chooses and equips individuals for His work. The idea of being a chosen by God is not just an abstract spiritual concept, it is a reality that has been experienced by many throughout history. 
In the Bible, God consistently chooses individuals not based on their merit or social status, but on their faith and willingness to listen to His voice. This selection often comes with challenges, but also with divine empowerment. The A.M. mark on the palm can be interpreted as a physical reminder of this calling. It may be a symbol that those who bear it are set apart for a higher purpose. While not all Christians may believe in the power of palmistry, there is no denying that God has used physical signs throughout history to mark those He has chosen. Whether through the anointing of oil, the laying on of hands, or other tangible signs, God often provides confirmation of His calling in visible ways. Listening to God's Instructions However, it is not enough to merely be chosen or marked by God, those who are chosen must also be willing to listen to His instructions. The Bible is full of examples of people who were called by God but failed to heed his voice. The most prominent example of this is the story of King Saul. Chosen by God to be the first king of Israel, Saul eventually lost his position due to his disobedience and refusal to follow God's commands. This serves as a stark reminder that being chosen by God is not enough, one must also be faithful to his calling. The I am mark on the palm, if seen as a symbol of divine selection, comes with a responsibility. Those who bear this mark must be attuned to God's instructions, listening carefully to His voice, and acting in obedience. This requires spiritual discipline, prayer, and a deep commitment to following the path that God has laid out. One of the key attributes associated with the A.M. mark in palmistry is intuition. This heightened sense of awareness can be seen as a gift from God, allowing those who are chosen to discern His will more clearly. The Bible speaks often about the importance of discernment in the life of a believer. In 1 Corinthians 12 verse 10, the Apostle Paul lists discernment as one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, essential for distinguishing between good and evil, truth and deception. For those with the I am mark, this gift of discernment may manifest in a unique way. They may have an ability to sense God's presence, understand spiritual truths, and make decisions that align with God's will. This is not just a natural talent. It is a divine gift that must be nurtured through prayer, study of the scriptures, and a close relationship with God. Finally, as you read on, let's take a moment to reflect on the most profound truths we often overlook, the importance of the journey itself. Many of us are conditioned to believe that reaching the destination, achieving the goal, is the ultimate purpose. But what if I told you that the journey is just as valuable if not more so? When you feel like you're losing sight of your dreams or are too far away from where you want to be, it's critical to recognize that every step, every obstacle, and every challenge is shaping you into the person you're meant to become. As believers, we are encouraged to look at life through a different lens. Each hardship is not merely a hurdle, it is a tool for personal transformation. The delay you may feel is God's way of preparing you for something greater than you could have imagined. Isaiah 55 verses 8-9 reminds us, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. I as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. This verse speaks to the importance of trusting God, even when the path ahead seems unclear or arduous. The reason you haven't reached your goal yet may not be because you're incapable, but because God is still shaping you for something far more significant than you initially anticipated. And here's the truth, the universe is always working in alignment with God's plan for you. When things don't go according to our timing, it's easy to become discouraged, but remember this, God doesn't operate on the human clock. He operates outside of time and His timing is perfect. Trusting in His process requires patience, faith, and an unshakable belief that even the most insignificant moments are preparing you for greatness. One of the most overlooked aspects of success, whether spiritual, personal, or professional, is the power of belief. What you believe about yourself directly impacts how you approach your goals. If you believe that you're too old, too inexperienced, or too disadvantaged to achieve your dreams, then those beliefs will limit your potential. But if you believe that you are chosen, strong, and divinely equipped, then you will find that nothing can stand in your way. Consider what the Bible says in Proverbs 23 verse 7. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. This verse underscores a fundamental spiritual truth, your thoughts shape your reality. If you think of yourself as a failure, as someone who is too tired or too old to accomplish anything significant, then you will manifest that belief in your life. But if you believe that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalm 139 verse 14, 
that you are a child of the Most High God, then your life will reflect that belief. The mark of the A.M. on your palm serves as a physical reminder of this truth. It is a sign that you are not ordinary, that you have been chosen for a divine purpose. The power that lies within you is not limited by your circumstances or your past, it is unlimited because it is rooted in the divine nature of God Himself. When you wake up each morning remind yourself of who you are. Speak life into your situation. Declare the promises of God over your life, even when you don't feel like it. Declare that you are capable, that you are strong, that you are on the path to victory. Remember, the universe responds to your faith. As Jesus said in Matthew 17 verse 20, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Let's delve deeper into the significance of the I am mark on your palm. For centuries, various cultures and spiritual traditions have recognized this mark as a symbol of strength, intuition, and divine favor. While some may dismiss it as a mere quirk of human anatomy, those with spiritual insight understand that it is much more than that. It is a sign that you carry a unique spiritual energy, one that sets you apart from others and equips you for great things. But the mark alone is not enough. It is a symbol, yes, but it is also a reminder of the power that lies within you. God has chosen you for a purpose, and that purpose requires not just strength, but faith. It requires you to trust in the divine process, even when it seems like nothing is happening. It requires you to believe in yourself, even when others doubt you. In times of doubt, it is crucial to remember the story of Gideon in Judges 6. Gideon didn't think of himself as capable or strong. In fact, when God called him to lead the Israelites to victory, Gideon replied, But Lord, how can I rescue Israel? My clan is the weakest in the whole tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my entire family. Judges 6 verse 15 But God saw something in Gideon that Gideon couldn't see in himself. Just like the mark on your palm, God sees in you what others may overlook, and what you may sometimes fail to recognize in yourself. The mark of the I am is a sign that you, too, have been chosen, just like Gideon. You may not feel strong, but God's strength is made perfect in your weakness, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. You may not feel capable, but God equips those he calls, Hebrews 13 verse 21. And just like Gideon, you will achieve victory, not by your own might, but by the power of God working through you. One of the greatest challenges we face on our journey toward our goals is patience. We live in a world of instant gratification, where we expect results immediately. But God's timing is often very different from our own. The Bible reminds us in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Waiting is not easy. It requires trust and trust requires faith. But here's the beauty of it, while you're waiting, God is working. You may not see it now, but behind the scenes, the universe is aligning with God's plan for your life. Every obstacle you face, every delay you experience, is part of a greater plan that is designed to bring you to your ultimate destiny. Joseph, one of the most iconic figures in the Bible, experienced this firsthand. Sold into slavery by his brothers, falsely accused, and imprisoned, Joseph could have easily given up on his dream. But despite everything he trusted in God's timing. And in the end, God elevated Joseph to a position of power, where he was able to save not only his family but an entire nation. Like Joseph, you may feel as though you've been forgotten or that your dreams are out of reach. But just because things aren't happening according to your timeline doesn't mean that God has abandoned you. In fact, it may mean that he is preparing you for something greater than you could ever imagine. Trust in the process? Trust in the universe. Trust that God is working all things together for your good. Romans 8 verse 28. Even when it seems like nothing is happening, know that every delay is part of a divine strategy to bring you to the place where you are meant to be. Trust in God's process? Believe in His timing. And most importantly have faith in yourself. The universe is working in alignment with God's plan for your life, and even though the road may be long and difficult, victory is assured. Every day, remind yourself of who you are and what you are capable of. Speak life into your situation, declare God's promises over your life, and trust that the universe is aligning in your favor. Your time is coming. Trust in the divine and everything will be alright.